Robin O.P. Parnell here. I'm the founder of People Against Killing Kangaroos and World Kangaroo Day. Rob, my husband and I are going for a, a drive in rural South Australia. We're on our way to Gumby's Kangaroo and Wildlife Sanctuary. Now, what I thought we could do is um, we could look for some kangaroos. Because the Australian government and the kangaroo industry say that kangaroos are overabundant. They're in plague proportions, apparently. And uh, did you know there are fairies at the bottom of my garden as well? So let's have a look out the window now. Hopefully you can see. Now, I apologise for not cleaning the window first. Um, but hopefully you can see out there. Hopefully you can see the crops. Now, that's what Australia looks like, really. 80% of Australia has been cleared for crops, grazing, mining, agriculture. You know, we've lo we, we grow lots of stuff. There are 69 million sheep in Australia. There are certainly nowhere near that many kangaroos. We'd be lucky if we could find about 20 million. So, as you can see, there isn't an overabundant supply of kangaroos out there. They're certainly not in plague proportions. I'm just going to see if I can show you the other side of other side. Can you see the crop out there? Hopefully you can. Just don't want Rob to crash. <laughs> Putting the phone in front of him. But hopefully, hopefully you can see. Again, it's just crop. Somebody's house. But um, that's that's what we're seeing. We're just, that's Australia. There isn't a um, plentiful supply of kangaroos. They're not overabundant. D um, during drought, we um, we know, thank you, thank you to the scientists who've done the research, that kangaroo numbers decline by up to 65%. And Australia has been in drought for 13 out of the last 20 years. So it's a little hard for kangaroo numbers to increase. Now, that doesn't stop publications for farmers and uh, thank, thank you ABC for joining that bandwagon as well for putting out information about booming kangaroo populations and I'm sorry but kangaroos cannot boom during drought kangaroo numbers decline everybody knows that yet during drought we'll get reports of kangaroo numbers are booming which is biologically impossible. There is um, not just that in terms of what's biologically impossible. Back in around 2012, an ecologist put in an application to threaten species in New South Wales to have the Western Grey Kangaroo listed as a threatened species. Miraculously, the next year, Western Grey Kangaroos numbers in New South Wales increased by a whopping 165%. That's huge and impossible. The best Western Grey Kangaroos could hope for would be 10%. That's the best increase they could have in a year and it would have to be perfect conditions. But, but this is what happens. You start querying the government on their numbers and a little bit of a creative accounting seems to happen. But actually, I've studied the, the numbers. And in New South Wales, since 2012, a lot of regions have had declines in kangaroo numbers of 89%, 93%, 95%, 98%. Huge declines. Yet... The slaughter of kangaroos continues for meat and skins, mainly pet food, and of course, skins. And of course, we have to hear about oh, overabundant kangaroos. But yet again, here we are driving along. We can see overabundant crops. There is a plague of crops, but not a kangaroo in sight. Nothing. It's a bit harder to see on this side, but hopefully you're not just looking at the sky. But 
that nothing nothing so thank you for watching I hope you're learning something main thing out of these first video videos is kangaroos are not in play proportions and they're not overabundant they are rare you could drive for hours around South Australia as Rob and I do and not see a kangaroo thank you for listening I'll be back with more videos and more information about kangaroos thank you for joining me see you soon bye